So, what's up people and welcome back to Pamela. Yeah, so I'm in the garrison. Yep. So what am I doing in the garrison? Well, if you recall, I'm supposed to come here to look for that one uh, control area to do something. I can't remember what Pamela asked me to do. And if you recall in my last episode, I said that I'm since Garrison is so big, I'm going to go look around so that we don't end up uh, wasting time, or at least I don't end up wasting your time, you know, frustratingly looking around uh, for that area. Well, it turns out I <laughs> it's in the area that I typically go to when I go to the Garrison. And so once I found that out, I was going to quit the game without saving, which is what I did. But uh, I guess there's autosave in this game because it didn't take me right back to Arc Medical. It just dropped me off here. Luckily, this is before I find that location. A little bit before. And so I think we're okay. We could keep on going with this. Now, it's more important to do it this way because of the fact that, uh, yeah, there's a redirect. And so it's important to be able to... Uh, get this yeah, I want to stock up on my Pamela powers as quickly as possible yeah I think this is the one I want yeah let's max this out this is really useful uh, you know powering up your uh, weapons a lot more okay so yeah um, so we're in the fifth floor underground and for anybody who's played this game, you know where this is. You especially know where this is once you see this, right? The power transmitter. So we're right at the power transmitter. And it turns out that the uh, control room is right near here. And like I said, it's a redirect. So what I... Jacob and Emma had another fight over the knowledge of 12. I busied myself with forecasting the next month's weather. Yeah, they fight a lot. Anyway, yeah, it's a redirect. So what I thought I would be doing here, I don't end up doing. And so... Uh, I examined the deep frame again today, wondering if it contained information about Tarsus and Eden 33. I did not dare to inspect further. I sure hope this uh, story mode goes into explaining the deep frame. If it doesn't, that will be seriously bad. If it's just a bunch of gather this, do that, gather this, do that, that's fine. So long as you keep on uncovering the... There better be a mystery to solve, you know? Not just gathering stuff. Because you created this entire mystery with these uh, recordings, Pamela recordings. So, oh. Welcome to Garrison's control room. We'll need to restart the central server in order for me to access comms. The server room should be located to the left of the main display screens in this room. Okay, so we're almost there. Okay, well... can't get that one. Okay. Yeah, Deep Frame. For three years you've been uh, teasing us with Deep Frame. There better be a story that talks about the Deep Frame and hopefully we'll be confronting it in the uh, future. Maybe we won't defeat it. Maybe that comes in Pamela 2, 3, 4, Jacob 5. Jacob has decided that my emotions have gone too far. That I should be reformatting. I asked them if I would become like 12. Okay, the lights are out.
Yeah, one of the things that intrigued a lot of players is the backstory in these Pamela recordings. And that opened up this foundation for a really potentially good mystery, which should be what's covered in the story mode. And so I'm hoping the story mode goes into a tremendous amount of mystery and uh, that deep story. It better be a deep story and not just uh, one of them. Of course. The server room door is locked down by key card access only. And what's worse, the power is down. So even if you had the key card, you'd still be locked out. The key card should be on the person of the security chief. His last reported location is NASA Robotics, which can be found on the perimeter of the central courtyard. As well as tracking down the key card, you'll also need to repair two backup generators and five cyanotubes throughout the city. You can use your map to help track these down. Repairing these systems will help bring Gaiden's power grid back within operating levels and should allow access to the server room. Okay, so yeah, that's the uh, redirect. So we're off to nascent, ro nascent robotics, I guess is how it's pronounced. And uh, we've already, uh, or I, I've already fixed four of those uh, cyanotubes. Uh, you know, ever since uh, we started the game, uh, I've been fixing those. And uh, I think I put in uh, one service key into a generator or a battery that I often call it. When calibrating the energy grid, a small power fluctuation was discovered, deep within Eden. I saved it for further investigation. Okay, anyway, oh! Oh, I missed. That's better. Here or somebody else. Okay, so uh, like I said, we're in the fifth floor underground, and you see these doors back here. We're at the back side of the fifth, fifth floor underground. For people who don't know uh, Garrison or who started playing this game, yeah, this is the other thing I wanted to show you. I found the uh, Garrison uh, requisition room card key here. So. Ho ho ho! Man, I really love the arc water. I may need to use this power up. Oh, I can't because I think the power is down. Yeah, I can't because the power is down. Okay, if that's the case, we're not even gonna try to confront him. I am gonna get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay, so if you want to transfer power, you go to the fifth floor underground. If you're doing the main quest, then they tell you to go to that control room. You go to the fifth floor underground. And it's basically the same place. Shoot him from here. I have to run. Uh... Uh oh. Yeah, for some reason, it also does the. Even if I choose the second uh, option for my Pamela powers, it also does the first one. That was a bug that was around way long time ago and they fixed it and it's back. Oh. Let's 
somebody's been fighting here. Oh, it's the uh, turret. I didn't realize there was a turret here. Those turrets are pretty nice. I wish uh, we could make the turrets in different colors the way uh, you see here. That green one is just pretty nice looking. Eh? Where is that coming from? Oh, maybe over there. Well, I'm not gonna go there. Amra appealed to Heakin to get Jacob replaced as head researcher. The request had several spelling mistakes that I corrected. Okay, so Nate's at Robotics. Shouldn't take too long to get there. So long as we don't run into a boatload of zombies. Thank you, Mr. Robot. Domo arigato, Mr. Robot. Much of a conversationalist than Mr. Robot. I posted a book on philosophy today. The concepts were too convoluted and inefficient. I filed for some alterations. <laughs> the deep frame appears to have magnified. Its subtle black hole of information is becoming increasingly troublesome. Yeah, by the way, uh, this affliction, it seems like now they're talking about it as a virus. Whereas before, you know, they talked about it as that bone growth uh, problem that your bones start growing really fast and hard. And that's why all these uh, dead bodies have these uh, bones sticking out of them. And they basically uh, die like statues right there. And from the uh, reports that you read in the past, it was due to, well, oh, let me eat this. Yeah, because I like eating. Hagen has stuff asked on for the Jacob floor. to advance the project without delay. Jacob didn't leave the office that night. Yeah, anyway, what was it? Uh, yeah, the bo oh, we're getting closer. We're getting to Nirvana. What the heck? Oh, beacon. Oh, we don't have time. Wait. On the other hand, there is a widow. Yeah, so the bone growth was due to, well, it implied that it was due to that new vaccine or whatever that uh, that was created with, uh, that would help reduce the bone decay that people were seeing in the uh, residents of uh, Eden. And probably that vaccine went haywire and caused this epidemic. But now it sounds like it's a virus cause, so... Okay, so here we are. Yeah, 
forgot it's we we don't have any power for the oasis. Nascent Robotics. The engineers who created me used to spend so much time here before the affliction spread. Please proceed to the bottom floor. That was the last area in which the security chief locked his location. Okay, so I'm a little bit worried about what happens once we find the security chief. The bottom floor is uh it's kind of creepy, so I've always worried that uh, whatever happens here may be uh not so pleasant event. Does this work now? Yes. So I guess Nascent Robotics is uh, attached to the Oasis power line. The outdoors. At least that's what it seems like. Okay, anyway, let's keep on going. So to get to the bottom floor, you first have to go upstairs. So that, uh, is that a battery? Yeah. So that, uh, oh. Yeah, you could get a, um, key code. Oh. Fluctuation has an apparent pattern. It appears oh, to be a form of communication. I devote a partition to analyzing it. Oh, there's another solar collector. Hmm. Do this without getting caught. Let me just use my uh, access keys. Okay, so let's take the uh, yeah, key code. Oh, this is the one that I wanted. This is the visor I wanted. I like this one. Gives you the health, the status of your shields, uh, how uh, over, uh, you know how. There we go. Yeah, how. Uh, overloaded your weapons are and the battery life as well as all the other stuff. So uh, before we go downstairs let me just do one thing. Yeah now that I have my hazmat suit on I created a small empty server with code logging all of my interactions with 12. I wondered if it was an inefficient use of space.
collecting some decent stuff here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I was wondering where you were. Okay, let's keep on going. So we should have the... Good, good, yeah, the key code. Oh, there's a battery here. I don't think I have a battery. Let me, uh... Nope. Just taking a look around. Jacob seems to be in a better mood today. Emma says that tomorrow my mainframe will be upgraded. Oh, by the way, uh, I want to mention that there are a few other uh, YouTubers out there who are playing Pamela at the moment. We kind of uh, uh, played this game off and on uh, and commented to each other for a while. And so I did want to mention their games and uploads. Uh, in case you're interested in seeing other players uh, play this game. Uh, one of them is uh, Dragonate. And he does a lot of game videos and reaction videos and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, go check him out. And the other is Nick Ball, who uh, is a new YouTuber and is focused. Strange. He's nowhere to be found. Please interact with the terminal to scan for his location. Yeah, strange. Just like that other lady. Now I know that that terminal over there is probably the thing that I have to uh, interact with because that they had that uh, switch that didn't do anything until now. Well, let me take a look here. Now I'm a little bit worried that if I turn on this switch, since we're in this remote dark location. Something's going to happen. That's why I kind of use that, uh... What is that? I hear a... I hear a zombie around here. Anyway, Nick Ball. Yeah. I'll leave a link to... Oh. Okay, let's start this. It looks like he's currently in Arpeggio. A music store in the promenade. I'm not sure if he's alive or dead. Be careful. I detect an unknown incoming energy signature. Ah, that sounds like Dark Seeker. That's what I was worried about. Oh, am I going to get ambushed by a bunch of Dark Seeker? Oh, I saw one. I saw one. Yeah, there he is. There you are. Haven't seen you for a while. There we go. Yep. Arc welder. Huh? That was a stalker. An experimental defense robot that never made it past the prototype phase. They shouldn't even be operational. No matter. Please find the security chief in the promenade before any more of them turn up. <laughs> Good job taking down that stalker. I've searched my mainframe for references to their cloaking tech. If you construct a disruptor, it should render their cloaking ineffective. No matter? Yeah, easy for you to say. I'm the one who's going to get my butt kicked if uh, I get attacked by these. Uh... She called them stalkers. I keep on calling them dark seekers. I think that's what they were originally called were dark seekers. So, yeah, anyway. I'm going to keep on calling them dark seekers if you don't mind. Oh. Give a flag every once in a while. Anyway, it's already late in the evening, so I'm just going to get out of here before I get jumped down by a bunch of zombies. 
No, no, that's the wrong way. Yeah, anyway, I'll leave a link to the other YouTubers on the description section of this video. Uh, I'll leave a link to their very first uh, story mode upload. And uh, take a look at it. Well, I got a feeling we'll be uh, visited by uh, Dark Seekers more often. 8.30 in the evening. Which may not be a bad thing so long as you have an uh, Arc Welder. Dark Seekers are really vulnerable to Arc Welders. Just like the Geists are vulnerable to the Surgical Laser. is beautiful out here so long as you don't get jumped by a zombie. Okay, 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 so so much for the peaceful walk. Okay, so I found a way that you don't have to go through the uh, nanite area. Here's the nanite area, so I just went through here. Of course I have my hazmat suit on, so it shouldn't matter, but uh, So arpeggio in the promenade. I'll have to figure out which store is the arpeggio. Now I'll do that in a. I'll do that offline, and then we could go take a look at it in the next episode. We're sent. We're being sent on a wild goose chase for a lot of this stuff. Went from. Uh, Garrison to NASA Robotics to Arpeggio. This reminds me of uh, No Man's Sky. Which I guess isn't a bad game to compare yourself to. Huh. What happened to my Ion Cell? What, what, what's going on here? How come it disappeared? If you have any so if I upgrade this, it should be full power. There we go. Not oh, wrong thing. Here we go. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know what happened to my other ion, so... There we go. Okay, we're back in business. Back in business. Okay, it's full. Good. Okay, well... That's about it. At least we saw uh, Nascent Robotics and uh, took down one Dark Seeker. And uh, at least we know where to go next. Getting a lot of these uh, cryo cores. I need to put Have one. Have a nice day. Yeah, thank you. I need to put one into the, uh, what is this? the garrison uh, cryo center. There's something that I can assist you with. Yeah, why is everything shut down here? It's really weird. Hmm. I don't know. One of these mysteries. Anyway, uh, yeah, we did okay. We did okay. And we'll continue on with the quest uh, in the next episode. And I hope you join me at that time. 
And, uh, oh, and thank you all for not spoiling anything for the story mode. Yeah, I, I know with the gameplay, I don't need to worry about that because I've been playing this since 2017. But uh, story mode, I would like to not be spoiled on that because I've been waiting for close to, uh, yeah, over two years for this. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for not spoiling. And uh, we'll continue on with uh, Pamela in the future. I hope to join me in the future episodes. And until then, yeah, happy hunting, happy surviving. As always, Jai Nice Day, everyone.